Cleveland.com decided to do a full ranking of all 82 songs from Panic at the Disco. I had no idea they even had 82 songs. I thought they had more than 82 songs. <laughs> and they're literally coming for your brand. Ranking all these songs? Maybe you need to get on that. Well, as we all know, I invented ranking things. I've been doing it since age 13, and I plan to continue doing it, and I'll see you in court, Cleveland.com. So today we are gonna be reacting to this list. We have yet to see any of these picks, and I've heard a lot of mixed opinions because I made the mistake of tweeting about this before we filmed this, so of course people were already kind of weighing in their opinions on the list. And Throwing like, spoilers in, know? like, stop, stop, guys. If we tweet that we're gonna be doing it, that doesn't mean that we've done Don't it yet. tell us. Yeah. I just think we should dive into this. This is a pretty big list and keep in mind that some of this is probably going to be cut because there's literally 82 and we cannot sit here and talk about all of them extensively so deal with it. So we're going in order from worst to best here which I'm just really curious what they're gonna put at the very worst because I don't know, I have very strong opinions on this band, and I know you do too. They were like the first band I ever got into. I feel like this ranking for some reason is gonna lean more heavily towards like, oh, the new stuff is way better, but oh, God. we'll see. Let's find out. Apparently their worst song ever. The worst song that they've ever made is according to Cleveland.com, Introduction. Of course, that makes sense, I, I guess. I honestly don't even really count this as an actual song because I, I just don't even think about it because it's really just... It's like radio static and then it's like, da na na da na na Oh no! 81? She had the world? What the fuck? No. Are you kidding me? That's one of the best Are songs on Pretty Odd. Kidding me? That's, That's one of the best songs on Pretty Odd. We made a video together a few years ago talking about how how underrated this song yes. is. Yes. And it literally is. How could this be one of the worst? Are you kidding me? There are worse songs on Pretty Odd, in my opinion. She Had the World doesn't fit with the concept of the album. It's a boring song ripped out of the Renaissance Festival you never, you never wanted, wanted to, to go, go to. to. Oh, that fuck hurts. you. Fuck you. I'll go to that Renaissance Festival any damn day of the week. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's that see is what... a beautiful song, and I will defend it with my life. Moving on. Casual Affair. And there's no reason even given for this. I mean, if they were going to go to the effort, I guess, of doing this whole list, they might as well give, like, at least a sentence explanation. Right. Because why? They don't even tell us yeah, why. Yeah, it's just a blank white page. I guess I understand why this one is low on the list because I've heard a lot of fans say that this is, like, one of their least favorites on that album. I honestly like it. I don't mind it. I never really had a problem with it, but I get it. All the boys at 79. Oh, Talon Weeks wrote that one, and I'm coming for you, Cleveland.com. That's another underrated Underrated, underrated as hell. It's, I put that on my underrated list so for Panic you, at the Disco. what do you mean? Okay, we finally have another explanation. All right, Roaring Twenties at 78. Fucking go off, sis. I don't need to do it again. I already did it, and it's justified. I put that <sighs> definitely there. Roll me like a stone, or roll me like a blunt, because I want to go home. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Should have kept that one on Broadway, Brendan. I'm the only one that likes this song. 77, Let's Kill Tonight. I know you agree with that. That's one of your least favorite Panic well, of the Disco songs. I don't think songs. it's a bad song. I just really don't care for it. It's kind of repetitive. I used to like it a lot, but it just kind of gets on my nerves it, over time. It's kind of repetitive. But next up, we have one of the drunks. Yeah, I, I, uh, I know that that would I, upset some people, but you like that one. This is what I, it feels like. I think it's, it's catchy, okay? Like, I... It's kind of dumb fun. I don't mind I, the song. I don't think it's bad. I don't but, mind I mean, I guess, it. I guess if, if something has to be this number, fine. Can't fight against the oh. youth. Are you kidding me? You are coming for Dallin's throat. It feels like a throwaway, a generic tune on an album that otherwise finds Yuri coming into his own. Yuri didn't even write all of these songs himself. It yeah, was, where's the true. credit for the other people? Old, Old fashioned. fashioned, yes. Literally all the fucking songs yes. from the new album. Yes, I agree with the low placement of all of the new songs. Totally on board with that. I agree. Uh, this is a very inconsistent list so far, though. House, House of, of Memories. Memories, that's the best song on that fucking album. No, it's, not. it's one of them. Okay, it's the best non single. Ah. Let me rephrase. I would argue that it is the best non single. <gasps> <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody hold her. Hold her. Hold her. <coughs> she's choking she, from she's that one. What the fuck? From a from mountain, mountain in the middle of the cabins? cabins? No, no. That is another underrated as fuck one. 
But in Panic's case, the songs just aren't very good. They're oversimplified and can't bitch. help but seem for. Oh, let's calm down. Let's take a step back here. They're being so mean. To pretty odd. The songs just aren't like that good. It like, says what do you mean? That's a great record for the age that they were. They said it wounds up uh, si sounding like the Beatles and something they would have done on the White Album. But in okay. Panic's case, they're just not very good. One thing I don't really understand. Everyone always tries to compare that album to the Beatles. Like, okay fine but i really don't think it sounds that much like the beatles i get the certain like instruments and stuff and yeah. certain elements but overall like i really don't think it's that close stall me are you oh i like that one a i lot. love that that's one of the the I... bonus tracks i will fight anyone that says the bonus <laughs> tracks aren't better aren't than the majority yeah, yeah they're what? way better than a, a lot of the stuff that made the actual album moving on to number 70 we have the good the bad and the dirty which i actually that one grew on me I'm a bit indifferent on that one, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, me too. I want to be, be free. free. Another bonus. Another God, one. justice for these bonus tracks. I swear to God, I feel like the writer of this article listened to all the bonus tracks once and then yeah, just ranked them. Yeah, that's what it sounds because like. Because literally, we're getting so many bonus tracks. They're basically like, oh, they're bonus tracks, so they're not as good. Right. Like, How can they put intermission above all those other ones? Like, intermission is one. better. I know, but what, what the fuck? You would rather like hit play on intermission than listen to any of those? No. 67 is Mercenary. Mercenary. Which I actually came back to not that long ago because I hadn't heard it in a while. And it's a damn it's solid a track. It's a different sounding song for them too. So yeah. I appreciated that. Dancing's, Dancing's not, a not a crime. Oh yeah, I agree with that. person on this planet that likes that song i feel no, like no that's and not really true hurts. you know all the panic stands eat it up it's and not that serious why is everyone like hey dancing's a crime where i'm from 65 i completely I agree with i completely agree with people like go out on a limb <laughs> to say oh wow this song's so cool for panic uh, and it's just i i don't know i was always kind of mixed on that one and over time it just it's Was annoying. It? Yeah, and they still, I don't know if they still play it live. They did last time we saw them. Live, and I'm like, why do they still play this over so many other I'm a fucking arsonist. I don't like it. Then we have Turn Off the Lights. No, that's another one I really like. These are all the bonus tracks, and they're all, I, like I said, my theory, conspiracy, keep asking questions. They're putting all the bonus tracks low. Why? Oh, the over, that was literally like the, the third best behind High Hopes and Say Amen Saturday Night on it that album. It wasn't one of my favorites. The Overpass, the people that I talked to that even didn't like the album, like myself. Oh, you mean these uh, music critics that are apparently their opinions mean more and they're smarter, so they're right. Um, bittersweet. bittersweet, no! How many times? Okay. How many times? Okay. How many times? Have, how many? How many? How many? How many times? How many? How many? How many times have I gone on camera to say that the bonus tracks from Vice's Virtues are extremely underrated? How many times? And then we have Impossible Year. I like that song. I do too. I don't think it's that bad, honestly. It's no. it's emotional. That's the closer to the yeah, album. Yeah, I like yeah. that song. Fifty six. We have We're So Starving. I fucking love. That's one of my favorite album well, intros, we're like ever. Halfway through Pretty Odd already. Yes. Yeah. You Christ. might as well just shit them all out next. Fifty five. Train, Train mistakes. mistakes. No. Now I know you would feel strongly about that one. I don't have a strong connection to that song. How do you know? Oh, I fucking <laughs> love this song. I play this song often, and I had forgotten about it for a couple of years. I came back to this. Underrated one. The way they trade back and forth, Nate from Fun yeah. and Brendan sounds so good together. This came out in 2011, and I don't even know how many times I played this song. 53, colorful. No. Ooh. Are you fucking kidding me? That's like in my top 10. Build God, then we'll talk. At it's number a, 50? Hannah, it's a sin and a tragedy. No, this is literally one of their best songs. Yeah. I love this fucking song. It's so intense. Great way to close the album. It's one of their, this is like one of the first songs I heard by them that I like knew that I was hooked. Far too young to die. Bitch, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Number 49 for Far Too Young to Die. Do we, do we need to research this to see who wrote this article? Who hurt you? Did Dallin hurt you in the past? She's a, a handsome, handsome woman. woman. I, I come on. I just uh, uh we've spent most. Of, they they even admit the pretty odd bashing. Oh my god, moments. the Beatles comparison again, dude. Are you find kidding another me? comparison? It doesn't sound that much like the Beatles. Forty four, nearly, nearly witches? witches. That's one of the best. That should be higher. Yo, that should be. That's in my top ten now. That's in my top <sighs> ten. You're uh, telling me. You're telling me Miss Jackson is better than this? Hell no. Golden, Golden days. days. Um. 
That's again in the middle for me, so. Yeah, I'm surprised it's uh, higher than some of these other ones again, like I said. But, um, it's almost, it's almost Halloween, Halloween at 42, yeah. I'm glad, <laughs> I, I was right, I called it earlier when I saw the Christmas track, uh, which I think the Christmas track probably should have been like really closer to the bottom, but the Halloween right. song is amazing. I like that one, I think it's cute. Do you know what I'm seeing is oh, that's fucking the one criminally. that you love. I, that, that song brings tears yeah, to my eyes, too. it's so pretty. Hey, hey look, look my, I made it. it. Okay, I really like that song. Hmm. I don't know why you don't, because you like High Hope so much, but this one, I feel like it's really similar to that one, but... I, uh, I don't know. This one just feels a little bit too arrogant for me. The Calendar. The calendar. Um, yeah, I'll let you talk about this one, because... I think that's one that originally I really liked, but over time, I, like, never really come back to mm -hmm. this one very often, so... And then we have Dying Ryan... in L.A. Oh, come How on. How is it this high, though? Yo. After all those pretty odd songs. Yeah, I, there's, no, there's no way that anything on the newest album, Pray for the Wicked, is better than Pretty Odd, in my opinion. I, I constantly think God for Esteban. Sure, I, that's a okay. that's a pretty uh, pretty good spot Solid to put track. that one, a uh, good placement. The End, end of, of All, all things. things. Honestly, that's a really tough one to rank because it's Wedding Vows. And it's so personal. Yeah. I love this song. It like literally gets me so emotional. 30, Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope Eyes. Eyes. You know okay. what? Some justice is being served there. I'm not there. mad about this. Nah. I think this is probably a good spot for yeah. that. I, I would probably put it somewhere between 25 and 35, yeah. so perfect uh, middle spot right great there. Great track, underrated. Yes, uh, great lyrics. 29, Say Amen, Saturday Night. I, again, I'm not mad at that. I um, think it's a really yeah, fun song. I would have probably put it a little uh, lower. Lower. 28, Nails there for it Breakfast. Is. Now, I was actually kind of surprised they put it this high. This is controversial, like I said yeah. before, because most people don't like this song because it's so auto tuned, but I love the hell out of this song. Don't Threaten Me with a Good Time. How do you feel about I that really one? I really like that song. That one would grow on me. I think that's in my top 10. It would be up there for me. I think, yeah, that one originally I don't think you liked as much, but. No, it's we both definitely like grown it on me. I think the seeing sample. it live. That really oh, yeah, helped yeah, yeah. me because it it's a very line. fun song. I love the use of the sample on there from what is it, Rock Lobster? Yes, and the B52s. It's, it's a great sample. And it works surprisingly. It's a fun party song, to Definitely. be quite honest. Behind the Sea, thank you. I ranted earlier about that if it didn't make the top 30, well, it made the top 30. I'm appeased. This is a fantastic track. Ryan gets to sing here, rotating with Brendan. 24, New, New perspective. perspective. Yeah. Great track. Love, love, love. It's not I, on an album, but. I know. I love that song from the first time I heard it. 23, Vegas, Vegas Lights. Lights. It is a banger. I'll give it that. I would never rank it I that really high like myself, that but it's, uh, it's a banger. Fuck, Fuck a silver, silver lining. lining. Nah, that'd be like in the 70s for me. The Ballad, Ballad of Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Now you know okay. I you know I got a soft spot. I know you like that one a lot more than me. Love, but... love, love, love that song. But it's but better, better if you, if you do. do. Should be higher in my opinion. That's at 20. That's like in my top five, I think, at this point. Yeah, Maybe it's in top my top two. It's in my top 10 for sure. Love. Girls, girls, boys. Um, I've never... I really like this one. I know you don't. Nah, never cared Why? a thing about this song. Is it song. the topic or just the song? No, it's not the... T well, maybe it's partially the topic. I just feel like it's like one of those tracks that... Oh, yeah. I know what it is. It's the music video that you don't like. No, I... I you were jealous. <laughs> that Green Gentleman! That's in my top ten. Yep. Again, I think maybe deserves to be a little higher. Victorious. Victorious, Victorious above that Green Gentleman, I totally disagree with. Mm, that's just... I don't like being able to see those two things next to each other. To each other right there. And Victorious is fine, but like it just gets old. High, High hopes. hopes. There it is. Yep. It's a jam. It's a jam and a half. Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson should not be this high. That would be like <sighs> honestly very close to the end of the list. Really? Me. Yeah. It's just, I don't like the it's chorus. It's basic. It's Ms. Jackson, very repetitive. Ms. Jackson, Ms. Jackson. It's not something that rolls off the tongue super good. I feel like he's like really trying to make it fit yeah. with the song. And, it doesn't uh, fit. I just, I would never was that crazy about it. LA, LA Devotee. Devotee. One of my favorites. Um, it's, it's good in the context of I Death of a Bachelor. Northern Downpour. Oh, yes. Number 12. Yep. Yeah. Huge fan favorite. Yep, that's in my Huge. top five at this point. Emperor's, Emperor's New, New Clothes. Clothes. I do love that. That is yeah. so theatric and track. fun. Very I think different. a lot of people forgot about it. For some reason, that yeah. was the lead single. Are they even playing that live still? I think they are. 
it's just not a fan favorite like I thought it would be. Like, not an extreme fan yeah. favorite. This is, this gospel. is gospel. Ooh, that's uh, that's up there for me. That's in my top three. <sighs> I think it's in my top three, too. Or else, like, really up there. Right. Because that's, I think, is, like, probably their, like Brendan's best song. The Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That should oh. be... Yeah. C yeah. Come on, this is gospel is definitely better than Halloween. Oh, 110. Like, I don't think anybody would disagree. Lying. Lying is the most fun. Great track. Mm. Legendary me at age like put the, what? Put 11? the fucking meme on screen. Put, you know you want to <laughs> share it. That was literally me. Ready, ready to, to go. go? No. I'm fucking ready to be done at with this six. list. At number six, are you out of your damn mind? Number five, Camisado. Now that fucking is killer song. That's really that one. I think might make my next top 10 if I ever do another one Me on too, them. me or too. Or top 15 or something. Four, nine, nine in, the in the afternoon. afternoon. Of course. Yeah, of course. Oh, we Where's Sins? Yeah, Where's I Right Sins? Us. Oh no, I swear to God, if it's number it's one, next. if it's number one, I throw the camera. Ah, oh, it's, it's next. It's not number one, thank God, but still number three is way too high they're I, literally like only putting it here because of how iconic it is and like okay i get it that like plays a part in like whether it's good or not but still like there are so many other songs yeah that are overlooked compared to this one number two is death of a bachelor oh how did i forget about that yeah one? that's the title track um no no not number two nah. it's a great song but not number two mm. This is number one. Time oh! to dance! Yes! I'm actually You're just so a wet fucking team. stuck. Yes, yes. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I always said... How did I forget? That's hey, really my number one favorite song. Before we got together, I said that that would play at my wedding. And oh, it yeah. will one day at ours, so... Amazing pick. I'm actually... I can't believe I did, like forgot about this one. Right. Because it's literally my favorite song by them. We were sitting but, there listing off songs. Yeah, I'm trying to couldn't... think of all these other songs. But yes, this is a fantastic track. I think it's honestly kind of underlooked. I think it should have been a single yeah. on that record. Oh, 110%. So many of those songs could have been. But this is just a fucking banger. It's so catchy. But how do we feel about the list in entirety? Um, It's it's a kind roller coaster. Hit or miss. Um, some of them I really didn't. Uh, agree with but i, I wish know. they had provided explanations for yeah, the tracks more explanations but i do give them props because overall like you said it was kind of a controversial list like right. very uh, out there opinions on some of those especially like around pretty odd and stuff and don't guys know. don't go leave any harassing comments on the article obviously our reactions are meant for entertainment purposes and we're just we're saying not, things like, in the moment we're not legitimately mad if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like on it go subscribe to john's channels and subscribe to Hannah if I've sent you over here, perchance. And make sure to let us know down in the comment section what you guys thought of this list. Were you surprised? Were you angry? Were you in agreement with most of this? How did you feel? Let us know.